Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? We're back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Obviously, we have been watch partying the COD Mobile China playoffs that are happening right now. It's for their $400,000 Masters Tournament, which is going to be qualifying the final teams for Stage 5 of the COD Mobile Championship. Now, I'm assuming this is because the developer of COD Mobile is a Chinese company that is going to be Timmy Studios, aka Tencent. The Chinese version of the game actually got the Krieg 6 early, and they also got the mythic Krieg 6 early. A lot of people have been wondering whether or not it's going to be a metal weapon and based on the gameplay you're about to see, I would say there's a pretty good chance. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, do me a huge favor, drop a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll hop in the action. <laughs> this morning's going to be a quiet watch party as the wife is asleep. Ready to see lots of Krieg 6s. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yep. They have the Mythic Krieg for their <clears throat> Masters playoffs, stage four, whatever you want to call it. It appears to be meta, although they love their shotguns still as well. They are on the updated balance patch, so that's probably why you're seeing more the reason that you're seeing more Karams. And here come the streaks. I'm telling you guys, Krieg 6, it's a, I think we'll see it a lot more, I think we'll see it in, like, rank play, but I think we'll see it more in competitive than we do rank play, just because it is a high skill gap weapon. It's basically like a more difficult to use version of the, the Kilo, you know? China s and better to watch, true. So many smokes to get through, and here come the advanced UAVs. It's a laser beam, no question about that. From, from what I can see by the gameplay, it looks like pretty similar BSA to the Kilo. Good lord. Why is it a high skill weapon? Um, because if you don't land a headshot or two upper body shots, it becomes a relatively average time to kill. But you see him hit only headshots right there. Absolutely smoked. Has a slightly slower rate of fire than the Kilo. The whole team is stacking kills. This might be a 4 0. Yeah, it's best of seven. Will Krieg 6 be better than the Switchblade? We'll have to wait and see on that one. Once again, it's too... Like, there are two weapons that you can't really say, like, this weapon's better than this weapon. Like, obviously, in our top five, one will be ranked up against the other, but more than likely, they'll just be two opposite options where one's used on bigger maps like raid and firing range the others use on smaller maps like standoff and summit so it's like an easier ak-47 no it's like a more powerful ak-47 like their required shots in order of three shot are the same it's just an ak-47 with a faster rate of fire pretty much but yeah do you think the craig six is going to be meta for two to three seasons like the m13 or the kilo yep that's pretty much how it is for every mythic now same reason that the switchblade is still meta same reason the Switchblade got buffed into being meta. I guess it wasn't that way for the Odin, but the Odin was a tough one to balance. Yeah, it'll probably be Craig 6 as far as AR meta. Craig 6 will probably be meta in Stage 5, if I had to guess. Sorry, guys. I'm back. Don't worry. Gosh, Craig looks so clean. Craig Mythic already? Yep. Ooh, Platinum on that skin looks clean. Oh my gosh, what the frick was that? They're just hitting beams everywhere. They're still rocking with the Kilo too. Is that... I think it's Island rocking the Krig right now. Yeah, get the pre-fire. Oh, teammate. Teammate, where are the trades? Oh, oh, that guy got smoked by the Krig. Good night. I think he thermited on the bomb. Ooh, good pre-fire right there. That'll get you the defuse. <gasps> the Molotov! The Molotov! Did he hop it in time? Wow! What a play. 
Info. Ooh, big kill. Wait, I want to see his POV. Yep, that guy's not peeking. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're dead. Wow, what a push. What a freaking push. The wall bang connects. Good night. That was clean. <laughs> Time to kill in the Krieg 6 is insane. What's the damage profile? So, two upper body shots or one headshot guarantees a three shot. Oh, the nades come through. Big double off the start. One headshot or two body shots guarantees a three shot. It does have a slower rate of fire than the Kilo. Um, so it's basically like a, I would say, it, I would say like a slight upgrade of the Kilo basically because they have the same bullet spread accuracy. And that's one of the big things that makes the Kilo one of the best long range options in the game. Pretty similar range as well. So overall, I would say the Krieg probably slightly better. Kilo might be a little bit easier to use if you don't want to have to bank on hitting those upper body shots. Mix between the DRH and the Kilo. Uh, I would say more like a mix between the AK-47 and the Kilo. Gets the info at least. <laughs> and that's the time to kill whenever you get the three shot. He's wrapping backside. Oh, he saw him. Oh, wow, what a kill. Oh, sees that one. Oh, Thumper! That doesn't kill? No way. Does the Molotov hit? Ooh, double headshot. Wow, what a clutch right there. That was clean. When will we get the Mythics early? Probably never. Timmy is the developer and they are a Chinese company, so that pretty much guarantees anybody if it, if a region's ever gonna get Mythics early, it'll probably be China. Pay to win Craig Six? Yes. I would say this is probably the most pay to win of any skin they've added because the iron sights on the Craig are so bad. What was that? What the frick? That just seemed like a very ill-advised play. Ooh, Maltov. Yep. Good try. Well played with the Maltov. Let's see. Ooh, clean flick. Yeah. Even even with the Krieg being as good as it is, the Switchblade is still going to dominate up close. Oh, he missed. Watching China Cod M is honestly the most entertaining tournament to watch. That's what I'm saying. S&D, absolutely no question. I would say it's the most enjoyable for me. Their teamwork is just so unreal. <laughs> the teamwork and the snipes. That's what really makes it for the for the China S&D. Oh. <laughs> oh, that guy's dead. Oh, he missed? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, they never missed two in a row. Oh my gosh, the angle right there. Good. Oof, beaming. All right, well, Q9, looking like they're probably going to win this one. 